The milk has to be really velvety, really creamy. Every year I see uh, changing uh, different methods and uh, different techniques to pour latte art. So you can see there is uh, so many different like, if, you, if I compare my first competition in 2013, so when I compare 2013 and 2018, it's completely different. It's more on social media, and if you see the um, like Instagram, Facebook, check just about the latte art and coffee, it's all over. And um, I think that is the biggest thing, uh, social media, and then it's a it's a skill as well. It's it's a very good to have that kind of skill as a barista. People can put a sugar like two, three spoon on top of latte art. Sometimes you feel like no, um, you know, you don't want to put a, like a two, three spoon sugar instead of beautiful uh, in on top of a beautiful pattern. But um, I think the coffee is. I need to re um, remember that, like you know, the coffee is a drink, and people can drink however they like. I always find it amazing how Dan always fits in so many different uh, parts to his tulips. So he gets all, all the layers around the cup and it's very impressive. <laughs> See how this side of the spout opens up yeah. more than that side. So you're tilting too. So you're tilting too much. Not too bad. Traditionally, when you pour liquid out, it, it follows the shape of the cup. So all of our traditional shapes are very curvy, like kind of tulips and hearts and rosettas and things like that. That's just a basic pouring motion. Now what's starting to happen is people are using the milk and they're really kind of drawing a bit more on the top of the cup, which is allowing the shapes to get a bit more creative and for us to kind of create shapes that go outside of that typical curvature kind of realm, which is what we were sort of, not stuck in, but it did kind of restrict us as to what we could pour. If you can manage to get two takes out. Yep, and then just from there, up and cut.
I think definitely for a little while there was a bit of frowning upon it. It was more seen as people were spending more, paying more attention towards the way the coffee looked and less attention towards the way the coffee tasted. So definitely for a little while there was a point of like, oh, he's just pouring a pretty picture on a cup. It doesn't mean anything. It's not good coffee. But I think now we're starting to see it more as it does take a lot of skill to be able to do that. And if, if you're spending that much time and effort to practice pouring latte art, then you must have a bit of a passion towards coffee. And you're probably going to be putting some of that into the drink itself as well. It's a little different. So the first pour afterwards, it's like the first will go like all the way around. It doesn't go like this, but then if you hold it like this, make sure. I genuinely think um, a latte art, being a latte artist barista, uh, I think one of the rock stars for coffee world.